What's going on guys? Today we're gonna look at a couple of um, old radios that I've, I've had for a number of years. And I just thought I would do a little video about them. I think there's some internet interest in old radios like this. And if you're not uh, old enough to even know about things like this, um, this is this is how you used to get your information back in the day when uh, cell phones and internets and all of those kind of communication devices didn't exist. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty quick video, but I thought I would just cover these two radios. So let's get into it. So this first radio is the Panasonic. Um, it is the R-1014. Uh, it is just an AM radio or AM tuner. It does have a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Um, the internals are pretty simplistic. I don't know. I think these old radios are cool. Anyway, um, I picked this thing up a long time ago at uh, like a flea market or a rummage sale or something. I'm not really sure where I get, where it came from. I think I paid five bucks for it maybe. Of course I tested it and made sure that it worked and I didn't have to replace any parts, but uh, Walker Brothers Steel Roofs come with a limited lifetime warranty, a 2.5-inch hail warranty. They withstand hurricane force winds and are completely fireproof. Do your roof right and do it. Go to Walker Brothers Roofing. We'll call 712-203-0111. With over 45 years in business, Thrasher Foundation Repair makes stressful home repairs super easy with precise repair and genuine care. From basement waterproofing to foundation repair, concrete restoration, and crawl space repair, you can count on Thrasher to handle it with ease and expertise. Schedule a free estimate today at GoThrasher.com. So you can see this thing works. The sound quality is quite good. Get a free estimate from residential homes to commercial properties. They do it all. And Baker's Lawn Care and Snow Removal. Find them on Facebook for more information. It's not tinny. It's not, I don't know. It's just, it's a good, clear, crisp sound for for this radio. Uh, I wanna say the dates are always a little bit off. So some say this is a 60s radio, some say it's 70s. I think it's fairly modern to be 60s. So I'm gonna guess early 70s for this, but I, I, could, be, I could be completely wrong. But again, this was the Panasonic R1014 uh, AM tuner. Moving on to the next radio, we've got the Realistic Solid State Patrolman. And this radio I use just for uh, weather. So again, if you're young enough to just think that everything's always gonna be fantastic uh, with your internet service or your cell phone towers or any of that, uh, modern new age technology, uh, someday you might uh, regret thinking that that's how that's gonna work. And I'm not gonna say that this will always just work, but there's towers transmitting AM and weather information constantly. And I'm gonna turn this one on 
and uh, tune it into weather. So you're gonna hear weather reports bouncing off of different towers. Um, it's kind of regional, so it'll cover local, it'll cover areas close. Um, really just a cool little radio. But uh, this uh, was produced, I believe, from 1967 to about 1969. So that's how old this radio is. I was born in 77. So this thing predates me by roughly 10 years. And it's 2024 now. So this is, a, this is an old radio. Um, not that that's not an old radio, but I think this one's a little older than the Panasonic. But uh, we'll turn it on here and uh, see what we got. So you get the idea, and this is just bouncing around, again, the Midwest. It's giving Minnesota, Nebraska, Iowa. It's kind of a, a regional weather radio. And it would work. This is no weather radio station WXL62 broadcasting from a transmitter near Lawton, Iowa. Our program originates from the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls and serves Sioux City and the surrounding Sioux land area. So, yeah, I wanted that part to come across. Anyway, um, super cool radio. Um, again, if you're, if you're in a pinch and the internet's down and your cell phone towers are blitzed and you can't get access to information, uh, an AM radio and a weather radio are going to be super handy to have. So, I don't know. I'm a fan. I like these things. If you can snag them for dirt cheap and working order, I highly recommend doing it. I always am on the lookout for these kind of things, and I pick them up when I can. Uh, it's just a cool piece of history, and if they work, it's even that much better. So... That's going to do it for this one. Um, I don't know what the rules are for me playing those over YouTube. I don't think it's any kind of copyright stuff, but, you know, whatever, if it is. But anyway, uh, the Realistic Solid State Patrolman Radio and the Panasonic R1014. Two little AM handheld radios. This one offers weather, uh, VHF and what have you so that's going to do it thanks for watching like subscribe thumbs up comment what do you think of old radios do you have any let's talk about it and we'll see you in the next one thanks <laughs>